Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a little kind of mare and foal update video. Moose! Honestly guys, we've got the absolute, like, they're chalk and cheese, these two foals. Moose is like so outgoing, so naughty, into everything. And Bray goes like this little like, mm, I can never do anything wrong. Like, oh, mummy, am I allowed to go and do this? It's so funny. So yeah, Moose is actually, he was currently trying to get through that fencing. Anywho, you will have seen from the title that today, annoyingly, is actually a vet visit day. And you don't really want to be saying that when you're talking about a four week old foal, but nevertheless, we've got to have a little, visit and sadly oh you're a bit wet if you mean lying down you're gonna be on a little bit of box rest my chap aren't you um basically guys oh he's so like frisky it'll it'll probably be easier to actually show you when the vet gets here and um i'm gonna ask hattie to talk you through it a little bit brago is absolutely fine he's doing really well no moose <laughs> Can you see what I mean about how different they are? Frego's like, oh, run away. And Moose runs at you. And um, just to confirm, Bear is the uh, helicopter mum, as people are calling her. So Bear looks after both foals. Brittany just chills. Literally, she couldn't give her monkeys where the foals are. Um, but yeah, back to Brago. So you may have noticed on the video when, well, the, the two videos he's had, when he was first born and when he came home, he was very folded up. That's how, like how mum and I, well, a lot of people refer to it as like, obviously when they're in the mare's tummy, they're like all scrunched up. Um, and yeah, some folds come out quite, quite folded, which is quite normal. Um, but you'd expect them to kind of unfold quite quickly, like within the first few days, like little Moosey did, all of their limbs should kind of straighten out and yeah, look like a normal horse. However, oh my God, I've just found the first bit of ragwort. Literally, grab that. You should normally do this with gloves, guys, but there's no chance I'll find this again because it's like a random little one. So Brago came out very folded up. Moose, no. And he just didn't really unfold as much as we'd like him to. So you can see with his leggies now, if I show you round, his back legs are looking so much better. But you see his front legs, especially by the knee, there's just this kind of, where's my finger, this kind of bend here. So yeah, initially when he came out, there was kind of an issue with his front and his back legs. So his front legs are what you call contracted. So the tendons are just like a little bit tight and contracted and it's making him get that kind of bowed look, which ordinarily, very easy to fix so when they're like up to three days old there's this drug you can give them which works really effectively like on them when they're that age and it essentially just like relaxes all of their tendons they do like a bit of movement and yeah it should be fixed the issue we had with dear dear brago is that his back legs were the opposite so he was very dropped at his fetlock which basically meant that oh hello Hattie's here um she's gonna do a much better job of explaining this so yeah basically his front leg front tendons were contracted but his back ones were retracted or like slack we've been calling it so he was dropped behind and contracted in front so if we gave him the drug that made his tendons relax it would have relaxed his back ones too much so we we're basically stuck between a rock and a hard place and have been for the past four weeks i think that's why the content's been a little bit, I don't know, like behind. Like we know, like touch wood, he's gonna be absolutely fine. I've just found it really stressful because it's one of those things where you almost need to like, you have to watch how it plays out. And I hated it. Like I just want, wanted him fixed as soon as possible to, you know, like he's so special. I want to preserve him. And yeah, I just want everything to be okay for him. But it has been a bit of a waiting game. So good news is, the back ones have kind of fixed themselves as they often do but the front ones need a little bit more help it's really important that we did fix him because further down the line get rid of this rag work that i pulled up um 
if his legs don't get straightened out, it's gonna cause him all kinds of problems. Like he obviously won't have great conformation. It's gonna be putting a lot of additional strain on his legs and like tendons that aren't meant to take the strain basically. So it's really important that we get it fixed. And yeah, his back legs have really, really improved. Sadly, his front legs haven't as much. Anyway, I'm gonna cast back to this morning when we actually had Brago's first ever photo shoot, we had Amelia or Millie from Something From The Heart come. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a bit of that, do some fun stuff first, show you all the gorgeous photos, and then we'll catch up with Hattie and talk about the Brago and what we're gonna do. We're also doing something else quite exciting, but you're gonna have to watch another video for that. The first pioneer, of course, it is Moose. Got Millie here. <laughs> He's like, oh, he's got, the, he's got like a head flick, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's very Welsh. <laughs> I love how they just don't go anywhere. Brittany's like, oh my god, the grass. Should we go and get you a buddy moose? He's, yeah. He's so handsome. Where is he? I wish his full fluff had either stayed there or completely gone for photos. <laughs> what to do. No, he looks a bit moth-eaten. They do go through that very moth-eaten phase, don't they, for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of until the winter coat comes in. Yeah. So they kind of... Look at Manky. And then they look all fluffy and... Really, really fluffy. This time next year, hopefully, he will look lovely. Mm. Right, Moose, we're going to get you buddy. Okay. He's like, yeah, you can Classic, do the yeah. babysitting today, it's fine. <laughs> it's every day she gets better to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ooh. there's like stop it! <laughs> you're so no, naughty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brinny, mate, do you even know one. where your fall is? She says it's here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, she doesn't do that to you because yeah. <laughs> it'll take you out. Lion. <laughs> Good girl. Come on, Brin. Come on, Brin. It's time to actually do some mothering. Nice, no, grand. Good for him. Oh, I'm going up. Yeah, I've got to. <laughs> oh, little Brago. He's yeah, he's quite scared of Bruce. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Come on, Mum. Yeah. This is fun. Oh. And that's seeing them out together. He's got so much lighter. Yeah, he? yeah. But I think, ironically, Moose is going to have the darker coat when they're older. Do you reckon? Yeah, you can see where those little marks where he lost yeah. his fur and his hocks. That's like actual hair now. Yeah. Jet black. Yeah. Yeah. And round his face, it's like a really nice shimmery black. Chocolate done even. Yeah. Chocolate done, some could say. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Ray, I don't know what you're going to be, mate. I'm not sure if he's going to be black or bay, yeah, or like a really dark bay. You're going to be a wuss either way, aren't you? Watch my cannonball. <laughs> there you go. Very close to there. How much, how far apart were they in the end? About three or four, three weeks? I think just weeks? over three weeks. Three, yeah, was it four? <laughs> <laughs> you son. <laughs> Isn't he? <laughs> the brick is terrified. <laughs> Ow, and he went. <laughs> <laughs> he says, Play! I demand you play with me, Brick. <laughs> oh, Miss <it's> Mummy! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Shock Moose wants to be the star of the show. I've got some pickies of Brig, haven't we? He's a cutie. Moose, Hello. watch your teeth, please. This is the shame of someone just bit your camera. Get that lip going. <laughs> this is, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe he's just trying to mutually groom. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I don't think he is doing it in a nasty way, but it's just so like, he's so quick with it. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't stop. <laughs>
a sneaky preview of some of the photos there guys but it is back to reality so we did a little vet assessment with Brago first so that we could decide what avenue to go down to help fix his little leggies. So what are you doing just seeing how much seeing how movement you've got? Yeah. You've got enough in there to do it to make a difference. Right. Like we can straighten his legs by putting pressure on him. Yeah. They're really there, aren't they? They are. He is improving daily and like going out more has just been a massive change for him, hasn't it? Yeah. Water put them out overnight from tonight, really, yeah. wasn't it? Now he's got to four weeks. Yeah, he's a big boy now. Is it okay? So I think he's even improved from those photos you sent me the other day. Yeah. Oh, well done, very good. He's going to try really hard, guys. Luckily, Moose keeps him running around a yeah, lot. Yeah, Moose chases yeah. him. This is also Brigo's first ever time even fall slip on, guys, and look how good he's being. <laughs> Just put it on like a normal head collar. Good boy. I am the best fall. Yeah, it's alright, they're not hurting your baby, I know. Yeah, they're not hurting your baby. I'm very tired, everyone. Good girl. You're a good girl. Well, they're not hurting you. Yes, I know, it's your leg. He's <laughs> next. So do you get some that you literally can't even move yeah, and then it's pointless doing it? And is that when they need like the relaxing? Yeah, drugs? exactly. I mean like doing a bit of physio with him wouldn't be a bad idea. Just this what I'm doing, all I'm doing is putting a bit of pressure on his knee. Okay. Straight and then lift and Yeah, that. straight stretching it out, exactly. Oh, oh, we do that. Didn't even know full physio was a thing. Yeah. Oh god, a massive, massive thing. What's upside? He says I'm gonna leg. I'm going to trot like this one day, guys. Yeah. Nice little extended yeah. trot. All we want is to do is that extension. Yeah. Good. So is it just that like, the tendons are tight? Yeah, exactly. They're and which tendons is it? The, down the back of his leg. Yeah. Oh, OK. So all of his flexor tendons. Right. And it, it's a compact thing because it interacts with all the muscles that are attached to. Ah. He's quite upright on his feet. Fastens if that makes sense. You look at him. Yeah, he's got quite straight. I'm just lifting his toe upwards. Yeah, yeah. bad. You can yeah. feel it stretch all down the back. Yeah, he's been very good about it. He's been so good. good. <laughs> the range of motion he's yeah, got yeah, is yeah. mental. Good, isn't it? He's got the best legs ever, aren't you? You are. Oh. I agree. I think he's improved to a degree already. Just changing his exercise. Mm -hmm. That I'm not really keen to bandage him unless we need to. That's such a relief. So you think physio him? Yeah, physio definitely. And keep an eye on him. Yeah, I think we're going to give him some oxytetracycline, which is a it's actually an antibiotic, but it causes muscle relaxation and helps okay. stretch things. I know, but I've got to stop you going backwards because otherwise you don't do the stretch <laughs> properly. You're stretching your back, not your legs. We're just seeing how straight you can get his legs, and he does find this one harder. Right, okay. Which is why he's resisting it a little. Good boy. Good boy. Does it keep me? My legs. <laughs> you can just feel how tight they are. There's no give. I don't know whether we're going to make massive differences for the angle of bandaging because. I can't get much more. So where would you, where do you actually split? Do you pull? So you pull, pull, the, right. the stick the full length of the front of the limb. Right. Bandage against it. Hedge trimmer has stopped, which makes vlogging a lot easier. So I don't know how much that you'll have heard, guys, but the consensus we're quite pleased with because I didn't want to say this at the start of the video, but we were thinking that he was going to have to be splinted today. So essentially, both of his front legs would have had to have like a wooden stick going down them and then you bandage them to essentially like try and make them straighten out again something that is quite common with little babies and you know it is fine for them but equally like <laughs> mum and I were just a bit a bit worried about it having to happen we didn't obviously you know it's not the most comfortable thing in the world and you can get things like you know bandage rubs and yeah just a little bit like it would have been stressful anyway pleased to report that Hattie doesn't think that that is the best path for him because we think he's only at a two percent angle now so that's very very good he's improved so so much he was like 
probably like over 10% a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, massive, massive improvement. So we're gonna try and like basically let the body correct itself as much as we can. So he's gonna have that drug that I was speaking to you about because we're super pleased like his back legs are pretty much perfect. <laughs> he says don't touch them though. So yeah, we're really, really pleased with the back legs. Um, so it means that he can now have that drug to relax his tendons. I hope I'm explaining this right. Um, but then the main thing is that we keep him moving, isn't it, for an hour. Would it be nice if we could have done it first week of life, but because of his back legs being so relaxed? Exactly. He's, he's literally trying to sit on me. Um, yeah, he does. His legs are a lot more improved from what we've done with him so far. They're so looking so much better, aren't they? Yeah, we're just going to see if we can finish off that last little bit. <sighs> yes, make him perfect. Perfect, so you can have a long career of hopefully no injuries. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna inject him with that now and then they'll go back out in the field to do a little bit of light exercise. Yeah, wait on him first. Oh, we're gonna try and wait. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Do you need me to wrangle? First girl. He is officially broken. Yeah. What do you reckon he weighs? Oh my god, I'd have no idea with a bowl. It was about 50 kilos when he was born. Um, 150? No, he's only about 78. 80 Seriously? Kilos. I could pick him up. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> hey dear, we have a slight problem. Baby down. <laughs> also very low on camera battery guys, so I might catch up with you when we're back out in the field with him. Right guys, rather windy, so hopefully you can hear me, but we managed to get him injected. Oh, it was so stressful. It wasn't actually that bad, but it's just like seeing little babies in distress for people that aren't vets and aren't like used to it and don't like know the job, if you know what I mean. It's just like, oh my God, my little child. Anyway, all done. Hattie did an amazing job. We also had a student here called Abby who, Equally did an amazing job because I was like, I don't know if I can hold him. I felt so guilty. Um, so yeah, they held him and actually got it in really easy. I think I was making the situation more stressful to be honest. So he's had that, which means it's going to relax his little tendons in front. However, you've then got to keep them moving for an hour. So my job is to literally walk off to Paul Bear and Brago. Sorry about that guys, we are back to uh, phone cam because my camera has literally just died repeatedly. Off they go. But as I was saying, got to walk after them like a little shepherd for an hour because we've essentially got to make sure that like his ligaments and tendons and joints and everything are getting like as much movement as possible. So we're like, just yeah, come on, good. Um, just like extending them in every which way, every possible movement they could do, they need to do, just to make sure that the drugs have the best effect on them. So yeah, that is how I'm gonna spend the next hour of my time. Bear is like, what is she doing? Poor thing, must be so annoying. But I just want this to work, and the best way of it working is to keep him, yeah, active for an hour. So we'll do what we have to do, but hopefully it's looking like he's gonna be absolutely fine. It should all be fixed. Very, very thankful to Field Equine Vets for helping us out. And they've been like literally the entire time since he's been born. Welcome, welcome, come on. Good, all right. Um, yeah, there's been like loads of like back and forth. They've been so helpful. I've been sending pictures of him so often to get opinions. So yeah, we're gonna do this. Hopefully we'll be fine. We're gonna have Ryan, our farrier, come out and put some little foal toe extensions on him. We just want to give him the absolute best of the best, the best chance of having a long, healthy, active life without putting unnecessary strain on his legs, essentially. So that's the plan, but that is the update with the babies. They're out in this big field, which is exciting. 
And once we know that Brago is like fully happy and okay, we need to keep an eye because he's the drug he had is technically antibiotic. So they can't go out tonight, but we are gonna then put them out overnight, which be nice. So yeah, that's the crack guys. That's the update with the babies. That is the honest review of what it's like having foals. It's obviously amazing, but also can be just like a bit stressful. I find it hilarious that Bear just has both these folds and Brinny is over there just like, Meh, whatever. Anyway, I'll keep you updated. Go over to Instagram to see more amazing photos from Amelia as well. I live, laugh, love you. And I hope you're not too, uh, too envious of my next probably 53 minutes of walking around the field now. Got my walking stick. I'm going to put a podcast on. Just long it out. Right. Bye, guys. Bye.